welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my first quarter makeup use up numbers for you. I am going to go over all of the categories that I have in this makeup use up. It is not every category that I am working on this year. Uh, I, I work on a little bit of everything, but there's only, um, I don't know how many problem categories. I do have some problem categories and those are the only ones that I decided to put in my makeup use up this year. And um, yeah, let's get into them. The first one is going to be, let me scroll and get to it. I have a lot on here. Um, face wash. I'm going to start with the beauty stuff first and then go into the makeup. Face wash, I want to use up three. <clears throat> Pardon me. Got my trusty water right here. I wanted to use up three face washes. I have not used up any yet. By the next update, the next quarterly update, I will have one done because I have one that is... It's getting closer. It's not like it's in imminent danger of being empty tomorrow or anything, but it is definitely getting closer. So I will have one done by the next update. For face masks, and this is um, like real full-size masks. I don't um, do sheet masks like these big things or like, you know, like the big tubes. Those are the kind like clay masks, that kind of stuff. I want to use up four. So far I've only used one and that is the Masked Beauty Charcoal and Diamond Mask, which I really liked. It was a like a moisturizing mask, but it wasn't super heavy and I really did enjoy that one. Um, for face or eye serums, I kind of have them lumped together because I will use them interchangeably. I would like to use up three on the year. I have not finished one yet and I may or may not have one done by the next quarterly update. I'm not really sure yet. Um, for face or eye moisturizers, again, I will use them interchangeably just because I want to use what I have. And, you know, this part of my face isn't super different from this part of my face. I just, I just do what I do. Um, if I have an eye cream, I use it as an eye cream. If I have a face cream, I use it as a face cream. But um, I have been known to, on nights when I I'm just tired and want to go to bed. I will use one or the other for all parts of my face. So um, I want to use three. I have not used up any yet. And um, yeah. Um, getting on to the next category is shower gels and soaps. I would like to use up 15 this year. And so far I've used seven. So um, I think I will probably surpass my 15. Um, some of this is because I have like the big gallons of shower gel and, um, I have been using those as hand soap in my master bathroom. And, um, right now I'm sure like everyone else, I am washing my hands like a crazy person. Like if I touch anything that's like a carton or whatever, even though I've sanitized it, um, I still will wash my hands afterwards before I touch any food. Uh, I'm just, I'm an OCD person and I, I'm, Better safe than sorry. That's that's just how I am. So I'm going to be going through soaps and stuff like that and shower gels a little bit more. I'm a clean person, but um, I'm even cleaner now. So yeah, so far I have seven of 15 done. I have a feeling by the next quarterly update, I'm probably going to um, extend what I want to get done for the year. Lotions. I would like to finish 12. As of this moment right now, I have three done. If I stay on that pace, then I probably will be pretty darn close by the end of the year. Um, I've been using a lot of really heavy lotion bars like this because um, they have shea butter in them. They have um, all sorts of rich emollient oils and butters in them. And with all the hand washing, you know, you gotta, gotta still love your skin. So put that lotion back on. Um, I think I'm going to be good for the lotions. For perfumes and fragrance, um, this does not include a body spray. This is just like perfumes, um, essential oils and stuff that I turn into. Um, I, I put them in my roller bowl. Here it is. I, um, I will put a carrier oil in this. I will put um, essential oils in it and kind of create my own scent. Um, I want to finish 10 perfumes or fragrances on the year and I have written down here that I have one done but I know I forgot to put one on because I know I've just finished an essential oil so I'm at two of ten on those and um, one was a 
Wild Spirit Fragrances Rollerball, which is actually, it's kind of like what I create here with just a little less oil. Um, it was a essential oil rollerball, basically, and then I finished the lemon essential oil. For body sprays, I would like to finish two. I have not finished any of them yet, but I know for certain I will have one done by the next quarterly update. That is all I have on my beauty portion, so let me scroll back over and get to the makeup portion. And again, I'm only doing my problem categories, so if I don't touch on a category, I don't really deem it a problem. So, or I, I, I either don't have really old stuff in that category, or I don't have like a ton of stuff in that category. The first one is powder foundation. I want to finish three on the year, so I have, so far I have finished one. And that was an e.l.f. Mineral Foundation in medium beige. For face powders, I would like to finish four. Guess how many I've finished so far? Anyone? Anyone? None. I finished none. I've hit pan on one, and I'm about to hit pan on another, but um, I have not finished them yet. That's going to be one that I still am not really worried about. And yeah, I, I feel pretty confident about my face powders. For highlighters, I would like to finish two on the year. And surprisingly, I have finished one highlighter, even though I haven't finished a face powder, which is just crazy because I'm not generally a highlighter girl. Um, and that is the e.l.f. It was technically a blush, but it was, um, it was a highlighter. It was e.l.f. got a glow and um, it was like a white gold color. I really enjoyed that one a whole lot. So that one is done. Now y'all, you know I'm gonna be crazy. I, I gotta have crazy categories. Blush, on the year, I would like to finish eight blushes. Sounds like a lot, I know. But I do have some in my Franken blushes that um, are on the smaller side and Franken together. So when I finish the one blush, like this one you guys have been keeping an eye on, when that's done, that's five blushes in there. They are on the smaller side, like I said, and um, that's gonna knock out five. As soon as I have that done, that's five blushes done. But as of right now, it's a big fat goose egg, which I'm okay with. I'm totally okay with that. Um, let's see, moving on to eyeliner. I would like to finish six on the year, and surprisingly, I have finished three so far. Um, one of them was a dual-ended eyeliner. I counted each side as an eyeliner because that's how I have it in my inventory because it was like a big long pencil and it was half like a dark berry color and half black and I finished it this year and um, so that is two of them and the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner. I'm going to skip over eyeshadows <laughs> because um, that's the crazy one. Lipstick, I would like to finish six on the year. I'm a little concerned about this category because I'm really not a lipstick person. So far, I've only finished one, and that was a deluxe size of the Makeup Forever um, Artist Rouge C211. And um, yeah, thankfully, I, I will be working on some lipstick samples this year, so, and I will count those because I, I'm not a lipstick girl, so. Um, lip gloss, this category, um, I think I can do. I would like to finish 12 on the year, so basically one a month. And so far, I have finished two, and I am about to finish my third. So this is towards the beginning of April, so we've just finished over three months, and I have usage on another one, not the one that I'm getting ready to finish, but on another one. So... I'm feeling pretty good that I can probably get 12 done this year. I'm working on a lot of my buxoms, you know, the half size ones. And um, those are probably the majority of what I'm going to be working on for the year. So I feel good about that. So two out of 12 so far. The next category is lip pencils. I've really been trying to work on these this year. Um, I don't have a ton, but some of the ones that I have are on the older side and I would like to get those older ones used up. I would like to finish four this year, and so far, I've actually finished two of them. I, I'm no Alex from, you know, One Beauty Addict or Alejandro Lisette. 
as her channel is now. She is the lip liner queen, but um, I'm not doing too bad, I don't think, so a little pat on my back for that. Um, I finished an e.l.f. lip liner in nude pink, and I finished the Bite Beauty matte lip crayon, which is somewhere between like a lip pencil and a lipstick, but I just happen to have it inventoried in my lip pencil, so that's just where I put it. Lip balms. I need to get a move on this one. Um, I would like to finish six on the year. So far I've finished none, but I'm, for some reason, I'm working on a lot of different ones at the same time. Um, at some point I'm gonna finish one and that's going to make the others go a little bit faster because it'll be a little bit less that I'm spreading out my, um, my focus on. Nail polishes. Again, another one I need to get a move on because I picked a lot of new polishes to work on this year. I would like to finish 12, which will be one per month. So far, I've only finished one. But um, I am working on two that are in projects that have decent usage on, but they're not in imminent danger of you know, being done anytime soon. But I've also put aside some specific nail polishes that I did want to finish up on the year. And I will use them like as a topper or an accent nail or whatever. So I am getting some usage on those even, those, even though those are not my primary focus. All right, the eyeshadow. The eyeshadow. I'm going to be updating you guys on the, um, the whole 100 eyeshadows challenge anyway very soon, probably within the next week. Um, I, yeah, I want to do 100 eyeshadows this year because I'm crazy. Um, as of right now, I have seven finished. Seven, just seven. That's it. So 93 to go, which is a lot. But if you guys have watched me for any length of time, you know how I pan and I kind of like I will pick one or two shades to focus on, like to really focus on like this berry color I've been using with every eye look lately. Um, so yeah, I pick a few that I really focus on and then um, I pair whatever else is in panning projects with those focus shadows. And um, so right now it's going slow. My numbers look really low right now, but everything else is getting usage on it. So at some point, um, as I'm narrowing down my focus, a lot of these shadows that I've been using randomly here or there, here or there are gonna have a lot of usage on them. So then in turn, they will start to go quicker towards the end of the year. I'm not worried about the 100 eyeshadows yet, yet. Um, you know, in six months, I might be like, oh my God, I'm not going to be able to do it. But as of this moment, I'm happy with my seven. It's it's not a lot, but I got this. I think I got this. So, you know, I might be eating those words later in the year, but as of right now, I am good with it. Um, so yeah, those are my makeup use up numbers thus far. Um, only a few categories do I think that I will need to increase uh, mainly the, the shower gels. That's going to be like the biggest one that I'm going to have to increase. Everything else, I feel like I I did pretty good or it's going to be a challenge to reach. The shower gels, that's that's it. Soaps and shower gels. So um, for those of you that have watched me pan for some time, let me know what you think about my number of 15 shower gels and soaps. Should I increase it now? What should I increase it to? I mean, since I'm I'm at seven, so I'm almost halfway there, and you know we're only three months in, so that's that's a good indication that I am going to blow that number out of the water. So let me know in the comments what you think I should bump this number up to. Don't get crazy. Don't say a hundred. It's not like eyeshadows. Mm -mm, it's not going to happen like that. But um, just let me know what you think, and um, I will seriously consider changing that number if you guys come up with a good reasonable number to put in there. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up and um, let me know how your makeup use up is going. And I think that is it. I think that's it. I hope that's it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.